my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marky Rochelle, and thank you for clicking on my video. So for today's look, I'm going to be recreating one of James Charles' most iconic IG slash YouTube makeup looks, and I mean, let's get real, all of his looks are simply iconic. Sister James is just kind of a makeup god, okay. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I'm super excited with how this look turned out. I know I say it every single time, but I honestly really, really love all of this color that's happening. I love that my eyes don't really match. Like, I might have to do this all day, every day, because I'm just really, really feeling this. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I'm super excited to share this video with you. If you are new, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below before you leave. I would really, really appreciate it. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Okay, friends, so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and start priming. I'm just using some Wet n Wild concealer to prime my eyes. Um, this is typically what I always use. Honestly, I find eye primers to be a little ridiculous when you have concealer that does the job for you. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and buff that all over my eyelids. And then, of course, I will set that with just like a cream-colored shadow. Um, just because the concealer is a cream base, you always want to set that with a powder just to make sure it doesn't slip and go anywhere throughout the day. And we are going to jump right into the colors. Now I'm picking up the NYX Professional Makeup Ultimate Shadow Palette and this is the Brights Palette. And I honestly started with that darker green shade and I left these clips in there on purpose just to show you that honestly sometimes I totally screw it up to begin with. But there is hope if you do not panic. So I started with the darker green color from the palette and a more precise kind of like pencil style brush. And honestly as you guys can see it's packing the color on way too thick. It's not the color that I need it to be. So I go in with a bigger fluffy brush that has a more tapered end to it and I grab the um, lighter green color that I pointed to unfortunately these colors don't have names sorry um, and I just start buffing that out and the more I buffed it out the lighter the color got and the more blended it got so I just wanted to share that with you guys if it looks like a total disaster to start don't give up we can make it better as long as you keep blending and going with a little bit lighter hand to start off so then I'm going to be taking this um, kind of tealy, bluish ocean color. I'm really bad at describing colors, honestly. <laughs> but I'm going to take that kind of in the middle part, just slightly above my crease. And I'm just going to start to buff this in with the green color and then sweep it outer um, more towards my outer corner of my eye and again just windshield wiper motions using a very very light hand just because brighter colors can be very unforgiving but I'm just going to continue to blend this out use a light hand I'll pack on more color as I feel it's necessary but I'm just going to continue to blend 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 um, this look is going to be a ton of blending and to be really honest guys, I didn't film my other eye. Um, I'm doing the exact same techniques on this eye that I'm filming here for you guys um, that I did on the other eye. I just feel like you guys always see me work with warm tones, so I really wanted to show you the bright and kind of out there colors. Um, so forgive me if you wanted to see the other eye. I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> but I'm just going to continue to buff that in. Now I'm packing this more on the outer corner, still using that blue color. And I'm also using just a little bit of this purplish blue color that I'll show you here in a minute as well. But I'm just going to start packing that all over the outer corner and then again going back in. Like I said, this is going to be a lot, a lot of blending. And then I'm going to pick up two more colors. So the purple color as well as this kind of purpley blue color below it. And I'm going to start packing those colors on, mixing them together, blending them all together. And again, guys, I'm going to say it about a thousand times. It's going to be a ton of blending for this look. And just going back and forth between these pigments and really making sure they look nice and cohesive and we don't have any sharp lines. So then I'm going back in with that purple color yet again, really packing it onto the outer corner. I wanted the outer corner to be very, very purple, very violet. Um, and I'm just going to continue to work this purple in, go back and forth between the purple and the bluish purple and the blue. You guys catch my drift. Lots of blending, lots of going back and forth between the colors. And then I wanted to clean the area above the pigments up a little bit, so I'm just taking that same brush I used to set my concealer. It just has a little bit of that cream-colored shadow left, and I'm just blending out that edge a little bit. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and do a little half cut crease. I usually speed through this, but I thought I would maybe walk you guys through this since it's been a little while since I've actually walked through this process. So I'm taking a little BH Cosmetics, I believe it's the 142 brush. I will list it um, down below in the description bar. This is the best brush to do a cut crease with because it's so tiny and precise. But I'm going to start from the inner corner and sweep that kind of like half moon shape upwards and continue to build it up until I get it to the height on the eyelid that I want. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. I'm not totally speaking gibberish, but I go in very, very light strokes. I'm not packing a ton of concealer on my eye to begin with because I find that if you pack too much on to begin with, it's really, really hard to keep it clean and nice and precise. So I'm just going to continue to carve out um, that line kind of where uh, the pigment meets the concealer until I get it perfect and I really like the shape that it has. Then I'm going to go ahead and pack a little bit of that cream colored shadow on that I've been talking about just because again concealer is a cream so you want to make sure you pack it with a powder and then again I'm just going back in and kind of perfecting that top line of the cut crease just making it really crisp and making sure it's the shape that I want and as you guys can see here I goofed up a little bit so I had to draw it even a little bit higher than that but it's all good we recover we just we don't give up <laughs> and then I wanted to add a little bit of shimmer so I'm taking the taking the Morphe 35F palette and I'm taking the top left shimmer shimmer shade. I know it's kind of hard to see. I suck at filming all of a sudden, you know, it's crazy. <laughs> and I'm going to pack that all over the lid. And then once more, once I have that shimmer packed on, I'm going to go back in with my shadows to make sure everything's blended and we don't just have shimmer and then match eyeshadow. Next up, we're going to start getting to the finishing touches of the eye look. So I went ahead and did my face makeup off camera, um, but I'm just going to start by applying, um, well, curling my lashes uh, as a start and then applying some mascara. I used the Ulta brand Plush Drama Volumizing Mascara. It is one of my faves. And then I'm going to go ahead and use these lashes today. These are honestly my new favorite lashes. They are from Ardell and they are the Studio Effects in the style 230. Honestly, my favorite lashes. So easy to put on and they are just stunning. Stunning. <laughs> And then I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of black eyeliner on the um, top half of my eyelashes. It'll help me conceal the band of the eyelashes a little bit just because I'm not doing any winged eyeliner or anything like that. It's a neat little trick that I've picked up. Um, it's honestly super, super weird when you first start doing this, but your eyes do get used to it, I promise. <laughs> and I'm also going to um, just line my waterline with some white eye coal pencil from Wet n Wild just to make my eyes really pop. And then to blow out the lower lash line, I'm just taking the darkest shade that I used on the outer corner um, for both eyes. So here it would be the red eyeshadow, of course, and then blending that out with the orange. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other side of the eye as well. So I'll be blowing the um, lower lash line out with the darker purple on the other eye. And then, of course, um, blending that out with some of the blues and a little mixture of the green as well, as you'll see here. And last step is a little bit of highlight on the inner corners just to again open up the eyes and make them look a little bit brighter, make those colors really pop, and then this look is complete. Alrighty guys, and that is it for this look. I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, again, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. It would mean a lot to me. And until next time guys, I will catch you in the next video.